Oh my great. god, oh my god, oh, yeah. it's like a slight heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna come join us? Mr. Handler, come in. <laughs> oh, join us. Mr. Handler. For our viewers and listeners, yes. Anna okay, Handler, we have a new guest of two huge Another shows. Two huge shows. And Vivi. And I have you to say, sex sitting down, I'm sitting down with four beautiful women and two <laughs> bottles of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> what I've been welcomed into. What kind of the is there for you? Yeah, yeah you're an addict if you want to share. <laughs> You know, I'd like to. Part? I'd like to drink it in five minutes and see what happens. But <laughs> I did that years ago, and I don't do it anymore. Uh, no shots today. No. 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 Today. Well, tell no us. More. Are you having a good day so far? Yeah, people are giving me things. What could I be know. Better, yeah. I mean, it can be any better, right? <laughs> Life could be worse. Life could be worse. Yes. Okay. No. I'm a huge Californication fan, so right when I saw you come in, I got really excited. I have to ask you. You know. On the show, you are put in some situations that I think are so hysterical. Just your banter with your ex-wife, your banter with Kathleen Turner is so funny on the show. Can you just tell me what that's, what's that like? Well, it's good to have good material. Yeah, yeah there you mean. go. Yeah, Tom Kapanos <laughs> uh, does a great job of keeping it going. I remember um, David Duchovny and I, when we finished the pilot, said, well, that was a lot of fun, but where do you go from here? Yeah. Yeah. And then at the end of the first season, we said the same thing to each other, and we reminded okay. each other, well, you said the same thing after the pilot. So, uh, <laughs> And we just wrapped season five. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been the most relaxed and enjoyable job I've ever had. Uh, oh, so, so Sex in the City, you don't miss it? Uh, I loved it, but this is... Uh, uh, it's something totally new. Totally new. Yeah, you know, Sex in the City was a lot of fun and extremely exciting. I wouldn't have called it a relaxed atmosphere exactly all the time. <laughs> why is that? Because all the so, uh, women... Uh, well, I can say that it wasn't relaxed, but I can't say why. <laughs> I think this is safe, right? That's safe enough, <laughs> yeah, right? Say, yeah, you know, of course. It's, uh, you know, there was a well, beauty pageant for four women, and, and you know, that was a, a priority. So, in our show, you know, David wears a black t-shirt every day, and... and <laughs> Nobody tries to make me look pretty, so, but I so love it's a different, what, the emphasis you know, is, on, is on different things. I right. love what New York City is for Sex and the City is what LA is it's for Californication. Yeah, Do you like having that, like, that... City as the next <laughs> character backdrop going on. I guess it is. I don't experience it as much with Californication. Somehow, I feel like New York is more central to Sex and the City than Los Angeles is to Californication. I don't know why. That, it may be just my own... Lack of attachment to Los Angeles. I don't, I don't really? know. Yeah. Oh, are you a New Yorker? I'm not even against it. I just, just haven't made a deep bond with it. Are you a New Yorker? Are you? I'm originally from the New York area. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And, and as an actor, doing shows like Sex and the City on HBO, doing Californication, it gives you this um, added benefit of being able to curse, to use nudity. You guys have more of a vehicle um, to give us better content. I know that the cable programming is really, really popular. As an actor, is that? something that you look forward to doing as opposed to doing a show on, on a standard network where you couldn't get away with as much? Uh, I like doing the cable shows and the premium cable shows because um, it's not because I curse or do sex scenes. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, well, that's my but, but, but uh, <laughs> the shows are often of greater interest to me. Um, I, I guess there's content? more of a depth. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're not pandering to the sponsors of the show. Sure. I mean, that's what, you know, when I worked, when I started working in network television, I realized really quickly that the best way to go to work is to realize that I worked in the advertising business. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't, there's no such thing as the television industry. There's the advertising industry and the shows are, I'm sorry, the shows are made to get you to watch the ads. Yeah. So that when I wrote for magazines, I realized that, you know, if they sold another ad, they asked you to cut 250 words from the article. It's not... It's not to inform you, it's to get you to look at the advertisements. Mm -hmm. But that's a downer to talk about. No, uh, I want to ask you, though, uh, what's it's realistic, and it's refreshing yeah, it to hear something realistic coming from a seasoned actor like yourself. So that took some of the sting out of it for me. Yeah, so yeah. In, in these shows, you don't really work for the advertising industry as much. Everybody does, really. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, but not as much. Um, but it's been funny and surprising to me that the last 10 years of my life have suddenly been, I mean, I think I'm probably the guy who's... Um, someone's taking my drink away. What's that about? We <laughs> <laughs> have pictures of you. <laughs> uh, I think I've probably been photographed nude and performed more fictional orgasms than, if not anyone in the last 10 years, maybe the history of television. That was a good uh, I don't know. Yes. I don't know if anybody's done a study, but... Uh, Is there an accolade for that? I think there's a... Uh, there should be. There should be. My accolade for that is you can go online and often see people writing, if I have to look at Evan Andler's ass one more time, <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, fill in the blank. 
Well, you've been put in so many compromising positions, uh, especially on Californication. So, what was your, what was the most ridiculous scene you filmed for that show? I, I don't know if that I'd be able to remember or choose. Or, um, but I suppose Kathleen Turner asking me to give her a, 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 a well, I don't even remember what it was called, a, a poop toot or whatever it was. I, like, literally, I was uh, going to say the scene with list. Kathleen Turner in Thankfully, your office. Thankfully, Kathleen Turner wasn't willing to get on her hands and knees for the scene, so we didn't have to physicalize it. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Another great Just because she has bad knees. That's, 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 that's the only reason. Is that true? It probably is true, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. 